God, what amazing truths that occurred at the cross. Father, as we celebrate this time of communion, I pray that we would just make much of you. There's nothing about us that deserved anything that we received at the cross. It's only what you achieved and what we just receive based on your kindness and your grace. I pray this time would magnify you, Jesus, and it's all in your great name we pray. Amen. This is the time that we get to celebrate communion, the time that we get to proclaim what God has done, what specifically Jesus did at the cross by his death. This is a time when we're going to take a little piece of bread and we're going to take a little cup. And for those live streaming, we want you guys to participate in this as well. These are symbols, symbols that represent Christ's body and his blood, his body that was given and his blood that was shed for sinners. Please open your Bibles to John chapter 10. We're going to be in verses 24 and 28. That's John chapter 10. Our passage today talks about sheep. Sheep are the most helpless, defenseless, straying, and dirty of animals. They require constant oversight, caring, leading, and rescuing, or they will die. The one that provides this constant oversight, caring, leading, and rescuing is the shepherd. The sheep and the shepherd have a very special relationship. The sheep actually know the voice and recognize the voice of their shepherd. And they follow him. They simply won't follow the voice of a stranger. Jesus in John chapter 10 applies this picture of the shepherd and the sheep to himself and to his people. In this picture, people are the sheep kind of humbling. People are spiritually helpless, defenseless, often straying, and in need of rescue. Jesus says that he is the good shepherd. Jesus owns his sheep. He cares for his sheep. He provides for his sheep. He protects his sheep, and he rescues his sheep. As the good shepherd, he specifically says that he lays down his life for his sheep. He lays it down on his own initiative, and he has authority to take it up again. And that brings us to our passage today. Please follow along as I read in John chapter 10, verses 24 through 28. The Jews then gathered around him and were saying to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, these testify of me. But you do not believe, because you are not of my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give eternal life to them, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them, snatch them out of my hand. Jesus explained truth about who he was, and the Jews simply did not believe. They did not believe because they were, as verse 26 says, not of my sheep. They were not Jesus' sheep. They were still helpless, defenseless sheep. They just didn't belong to Jesus. And in verse 27, Jesus contrasts these unbelieving Jews with his people by saying, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Jesus knows his sheep. He knows them personally and intimately. And his sheep, they know his voice. And they hear it, and they respond to it by following him. Believers are often referred to as followers of Jesus. 
How easy would it be to grow up in a Christian family, to go to church, to participate in various ministries, be exposed to the Word of God, even acknowledge what God's Word has to say about Jesus, and not actually be a follower of Jesus? These unbelieving Jews spoke with Jesus face to face. They saw him perform miracles. They were familiar with him, but they did not follow him. And they actually rejected him. So the question is, are you a follower of Jesus? Do you know who he is as revealed by his word, and do you follow him? Communion is a time for believers for the followers of Christ to celebrate and proclaim Jesus' death on the cross. And if you would admit that you're not a follower of Jesus, we simply ask that you not participate in taking the bread and the cup. We're glad that you're here and would love to talk to you about what being a follower of Christ is. Uh, Please talk with me, any one of the pastors, the person who brought you. And we want you to listen to these truths that we're about to talk about that are applicable to believers. Believers, verse 28 has some precious truths for Jesus' sheep. Jesus says, I give eternal life to them, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. As the good shepherd, Jesus willingly laid down his life for his sheep. He did this at the cross. He rescued them from the punishment that they and everyone rightly deserves. And because of what he did at the cross by bearing the wrath of God, he secures eternal life for each of his sheep. But only for his sheep. And verse 28 also says that they will never perish. His sheep are not simply rescued for a period of time, They are permanently rescued. And Jesus also guarantees their protection and says, no one will snatch them out of my hand. How precious are these truths that we have from our shepherd who laid down his life, whose blood was shed, and whose body was given for his sheep, for believers. As your hearts are prepared, go ahead and take communion on your own.